Hello students. Today we are going to discuss about the topic force and effects of force. Before starting the class, let me ask one question to you. In our surroundings, there are several objects that we can able to see that they are moving from one place to another. What causes an object to move? What is the reason behind the movement of the objects? Here we have one ball which is at rest position. That means which is not moving. How we can able to move this ball which is in the rest position? To move the ball, we need either push or pull the ball in any direction. If we not done any kind of pushing or pulling on the ball, it will remain in the same position. That means in the rest position. In order to move the ball, we need to push or pull the ball along certain direction. While pushing or pulling, we can say that we are applying an external force on the object. In this case, we can say that we are applying an external force on the ball to move from one position to another. So what is force? Force is something which causes an object to move. Is it? Only for moving an object, we are applying the force? No. We want to apply force to stop an object which are in moving condition. For example, here the ball is rolling or moving on the table. Now I am applying force to stop the moving ball. So we can say that for stopping an object, we want to apply an external force. Now observe carefully. Here moving the ball and it comes to rest without applying any external force. Is it? Then why it comes to the rest position? Here the ball itself comes to the rest position. This kind of force is called frictional force. More details about the frictional force will study in the next class. Now if we come to the topic force, the two terms push and pull is very important. When we opening and closing the door, we are applying force that is pushing and pulling on the door. Pushing means make an object to move away from oneself. For example, when we push the door, the door will move away from the person. Similarly, pulling means bring an object closer to oneself by applying force. For example, when we pull the door, it will open or it will come to closer to the person. So in general, if we can say that we do some kind of actions like pushing, pulling, lifting, kicking, dropping an object, etc. We can say that we are applying force. Some more examples we can see for applying forces are pulling the draw and pushing the draw, kicking the ball, etc. Now by applying the force, we can able to change the shape of an object also. Now we can define force as force is a push or pull or any kind of such actions that can be changed the state of motion of an object or change its shape. Here change the state of motion means the object change its position from stationary to moving condition or from moving body to stationary position and also to move the object more faster and slow down the moving object or to change the direction of the object. When we talk about the force, we should consider the direction of force along with the magnitude. Magnitude means how much force we are applying. For example, here we apply a force to move the table. If I apply less force, the table will move very less distance only. Similarly, if I applied more forces, then the table will cover more distance. So the movement of the object here table will vary according to the magnitude of the applied force. Along with the magnitude, the direction of applying force is also important. The object will move accordingly where we are applying the force. Means in which direction we are applying the force. Here, two students are applying the force on the table in the same direction. At that time, the table will move fastly. Is it? 
So we can say that when two or more forces are applied in the same direction, then it will add up. F is equals to F1 plus F2. When two students applying the forces in the opposite direction, what will happen? We can see that who will apply more force, the object will move to that position. If both students are applied same force, then the object will not move. So if applied forces in the opposite direction, then we can say that F is equals to F1 minus F2. So with this, we are completing today's class. In this class, we learnt about definition of force and the effects of force and the force has both magnitude and direction. To the next class, you find out more examples for the force and effects of force that we are applying in our daily life situations. Thank you all.